And I know you guys get tired of me. It's little things. Coach Peter so Morales decisions. of the Coronado High School Thunderbirds in El Paso, okay. Texas, makes no qualms about it. He has a favorite on this team. Mitchell, I need you. I need you to help me out with my coaching tits, Mitchell. Team manager Mitchell Marcus has a developmental disability. One, two, three. But he far surpasses everyone here when it comes to love of the game. He's this amazing person that our basketball team loves being around. Yay! Mitchell's mom, Amy, says he's always been that way. Mitchell always had a basketball. That was always what he wanted for his birthday. And because basketball is that important to him, on the last game of the regular season, the coach told Mitchell to suit up. What was it like to put on the uniform? I was very happy. I imagine you were. Just wearing a jersey was enough for Mitchell. But what he didn't know, what no one knew at the time, was that the coach planned to play him. At the end, no matter what the score. You were prepared to lose that game. For his moment, yes. For his moment in time, yes. And so, with a minute and a half left, Coronado leading, but only by 10, Coach Morales put in his manager. And just started hearing Mitchell, Mitchell. But here's where the fairy tale fell apart. Although his teammates did everything they could to get Mitchell a basket, each time they passed him the ball, he either missed the shot, or like on their last possession, booted it out of bounds, turning the ball over to the other team with just seconds left. He wasn't going to be able to score. But I was hoping that he was happy that he was just put in the game. Could you have ever imagined what happened next? No, I did. I could not. Not at all. What happened next happened on the inbound. The guy with the ball there is a senior at Franklin High School. Number 22, Jonathan Montanez. Uh, I just, I was raised to treat others how you want to be treated. I just thought Mitchell deserved his chance, deserved his opportunity. I think I'll cry about it for the rest of my life. What Jonathan did was yell out Mitchell's name, then threw the ball right to it, right there. One of the most memorable turnovers of all time. It wasn't the game-winning shot. When the buzzer sounded, Coronado had 15 more points than Franklin. But Jonathan's assist and Mitchell's basket did change the outcome decidedly play any game with this much sportsmanship. Both teams win. Steve Hartman on the road in El Paso, Texas. And the real reason we wanted to show that again was to tell you that after seeing Steve's story the first time we aired it, the Chancellor of Texas Tech called Jonathan Montañez and offered him a scholarship.